Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my Chanel classic flat bag. Um, I went out this weekend and this was the bag I took with me um, both nights that I went out. I went out to the club, so I went clubbing with this bag. And then I also went to a really fancy restaurant um, in the Crown um, Casino. I went to Nobu and I had lots of fun and this was the bag I took with me everywhere. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you like kind of like um, all my favorite features about this bag and also what is in it. So this bag was gifted to me by a friend um, she bought this from Malaysia, I believe, um, and this is not authentic, um, as is probably evident to a lot of people, um, but I don't care. This is probably one of my favourite bags I own, um, just because of the practicality of it. I love the design of this bag. I find it a very practical design, and I think it's a very aesthetic design as well. Um, I also, yeah, just love this bag. It's probably one of my favourite um, items in my closet. It has this chain here, which is adjustable, so usually I wear it at this length, but um, if I was at the club or something, I would make it longer so I can have it like over the shoulder or like crossbody is like a bit more secure. Um, but yeah, I love the adjustable handle. I think it's really versatile. I think it's also a very pretty handle with the chain design. I think that looks really nice. The hardware on this bag used to be gold, but it is now running almost silver. So like the actual CC clasp is gold and it's like a champagne kind of gold, but like the detail on the little, um, little, I don't know what to call this, the rotating bit. Um, this piece is like rubbing silver. The chain is pretty much silver now because I've worn it so much. Uh, but these little, I want to call them grommets. These little gold grommets are still gold. Um, and they just have the little um, Chanel like writing on there. It says Chanel, 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 Chanel all around. Um, and this one also has the Chanel logo on the front. And it says Chanel Paris on the little like blob that's stuck to one of the little C's. Um, I just think this is my like dream bag. Um, I love it so much and I wear it all the time. But let's get into it. So on the inside, when you first open the bag, it's a double flap design. So the first flap, um, I don't actually have anything in here at the moment. Actually, I do. I have a, um, what is this? This is a business card from Cafe Leon, which is a French cafe, um, which is in my area. It's a really nice cafe. I celebrated my 21st birthday at this cafe, um, and it's one of my favorites. So that's their business card. Um, and I keep it back there. Um, I really love Cafe Leon. Um, it's a really friendly and beautiful place. Um, great food obviously there's this little compartment in there i don't have anything up there right now it's a very small compartment as you can tell it's only this deep and you can't go the other way um but this little um compartment has the dodgiest looking little cc logo i've ever seen i don't know if you can see that but it's like two little semicircles to make the cc logo um and this is usually where i keep a nail file just because it's such a small space you could probably fit a pen or like a lip gloss in there but usually um it's just a nail file for me, but it's currently empty. Also on the inside of the little CC flap, um, it says Chanel Paris on the inside there, if you can see that. It says Chanel Paris. But yeah, um, I don't mind that this is a fake bag, obviously. Like, it doesn't make a difference to me because this is something that I take with me everywhere. If I had an authentic bag, I would be really scared to, like, take it to the club, take it out all the time. I love using this. I use it all the time. I... I'm not scared to trash it, but I don't trash it because I love it. Anyway, um, there is one part that's got a lot of wear and that's this little part right above the clip here. This little part where the leather kind of is worn, it's from the clasp of the magnetic clasp coming down and like rubbing on it every time I like close this flap. So yeah, that's why there's a little worn piece right there, but it's not really a big deal. I also have a little bit of like foundational makeup on this side over here, but I'm sure I could wipe that off. I just like haven't. Um, this is also like a replicate replication replica of the caviar design it's got this like pebbled effect all over it um so yeah uh, that's makes it more durable as well like i've had this for i want to say like three years now and it's holding up really well there's no wear on the bottom or anything it even though like i wear it everywhere i put it on the ground i'm not scared of it um yeah so anyway on the inside, it has the little flaps that you're supposed to put like your lipstick and your like powder compacts and stuff in. Inside the powder compact compartment, I have um, some random perfume, like little scented cards from like when I was shopping one time. So this is from Louis Vuitton. This says Les Sables Roses. I'm like butchering that name. I can't, I don't know how to say that. And I also have Chloe, um, which is just like my signature everyday fragrance that I wear all the time. Um, but yeah, those two smell really nice, like rosy floral scents. Um, and then this is the authenticity card that came with the bag. The bag didn't come in a box or anything, but it did come with a dust pad. And this authenticity card, this is what the card looks like. It just says like Chanel and like some details on the front. And then this is what the back looks like. It's got like a number and stuff. Um, I've never taken it out of the bag. I just left it in there. Um, so yeah, that's what's in the like little compartments and like 
as the story goes, you know, Chanel made these compartments so that it would fit her lipstick and like her powder in there. Um, in this front compartment, I have a load of random stuff. So I'm just going to pull it out and like show you what's in there. I don't know what receipt this is. I have a random sticker. Um, I'm not sure what this is from, but I have a sticker in there. I have some receipts, not receipts, movie tickets. These are from the movie Ralph Breaks the Internet. This is from Wreck-It Ralph in literally 2019. Okay, cool. And what else is in there? Oh, and I have a blue ice cream spoon, a little plastic spoon for if I want to eat ice cream. Um, so yep, that's in there as well. What else? I have um, a Pandora receipt because I have a ring where um, some of the diamonds fall out. And so I have the receipt from Pandora just to like um, take it back. If the diamonds ever fall out, they replace it. Pandora is really good with like customer service like that. So if you take um, the receipt back or even just taking the ring, um, they'll fix it up for you and like replace it or something like that. So yeah, I have my Pandora authenticity card for one of my rings. And then what else? I have a receipt from Miniso. What did I buy? A large peng penguin plush toy in blue. That was from when my boyfriend and I bought my big giant penguin. Um, his name is Fish and I love him a lot. So that's the receipt from when he came to be. And then this was from when my boyfriend and I went and saw Spider-Man, um, the Miles Morales on the Into the Spider-Verse. So yeah, that was literally in 2018. But yeah, those are the movie tickets from that. I'm going to chuck everything back where it came from because I don't have the time right now to put this all into better spots and get rid of stuff. I'm just going to go for the main compartment now, which is where the majority of my stuff lives. Um, I do utilize these compartments if I have something like, if I have a compact powder, I will put it in this compartment. I just wasn't carrying a compact powder this weekend. Obviously I bring my wallet with me. This wallet is like a full size zippy wallet and it fits well into this bag, which I don't know what size of bag this is, but I'm assuming it's to replicate the medium size flat bag. Um, this is my Victoria's Secret zippy wallet. It has gold hardware and it says Victoria's Secret with the like pink stripes on the front. I think this is so classic. I love that I wear it all the time. I have all my stuff in here. My Opal card, my credit card, my ID, coins, some cash, anything I need. Um, what else? Okay, I have two lip glosses because I wore a different lip gloss each day. So the first lip gloss I have is the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the shade Sweet Mouth. I wore this to the club, um, love Fenty Beauty glosses. And then another gloss that I love, this is a Kylie Cosmetics gloss, the old style in like the longer tune, not the high glosses, like the old ones. I loved, by the way, this is so random. I loved the video she made for um, Like Literally and So Cute. Those three first glosses she came out with. She had a whole music video for her lip glosses and it was like such a cute, music video. I thought it was fun. Anyway, this is the shade Literally, which is the medium shade out of the three initial glosses she came out with. Just a really nice nude shade. I love it. I wear it all the time. So I wore that to Nobu. Those are the two. I wore a Kylie Cosmetics gloss to Nobu. I didn't even think about that at the time, but yeah, those are the lip glosses in there. I also have some hand sanitizers. I actually have two because we're in COVID. One of them is open and one of them is not. So I have the hand sanitizer from Palm Olive. This is the lemon and white citrus one. This is really nice. It has a little bit of like um, a sweet citrus scent. It's really nice. So yeah, almost used that one up. And because that one's almost used up, I chucked in a new one. This is the Japanese cherry blossom one from Bath and Body Works. Just a little small one um, for when this one gets used up. So those two are in there as well as um, this random wrapper from Butter Menthol. Um, I live in Sydney, Australia, and sometimes there's back burning, which is where they burn off the bush, um, and it helps the bush regenerate and also prevents bushfires. So yeah, last week they were back burning because it was a good time in the season for it. But they were back burning the other week. The unfortunate thing with back burning is it kills my throat because so, there's like smoke in the air. So um, when they were burning last week, when it was like a safe time to burn, um, I was eating a lot of butter menthol. This is like such a rant. I was eating butter menthols. This is a Soothers butter menthol wrapper because I eat butter menthols to save my throat. So my throat is less raw. You can probably hear my throat's like a little bit like huskier than usual. It's because of the back burning. It's, it's really getting my throat. Anyway, I have two more things to show you guys today. This one is the Burt's Bees Honey and Grape Seed Hand Cream. Um, it's just like a hand cream if I want to moisturize my hands. Um, yeah, it's a Burt's Bees hand cream. And this is an EOS lip balm. Um, this is the vanilla one just in the tube. And I love this. It's one of my favorite lip balms, honestly. Um, I love it so much. I wear it all the time. I don't know why I sugar it. Um, but yeah, really good lip balm. Wear it all the time. Love it. Easy. Love it, love it, love it. Um, that's all the stuff that I currently have inside the bag. There's also, of course, a little smile pocket on the back. And inside the smile pocket, 
I have loads of hoops right now. So I have two sets of hoops. The first set is just this like plain silver set. So they just are a set of like really large silver hoops. Um, so they just look like that. I like to keep hoops in the back of my bag just because even though this is like a convenient slot to like keep your phone, my phone's a little bit larger than this slot. Yeah, it's a little bit larger. So just because the thickness of my phone is kind of like difficult to shove the phone in here and like for me to feel like it's secure, I'm really scared of losing my phone. I don't want to like lose it from this compartment. It's just a little too small for my phone. So I prefer keeping earrings in here. And I find that's convenient because if I'm out and I want earrings on the go or something, the earrings are in here. And I can be like, oh, I'm missing a pair of earrings. I can always upgrade to the hoops that are in here as well. Um, so the other pair of hoops in here are the ones I wore to the club. These are from my friend Francesca. Thank you so much for these, Francesca. I wear them all the time, as she knows. Um, these are some rose gold hoops. They don't connect all the way, um, but they're really large. Like these are larger than the other hoops I'll show you. Like these are giant hoops and these have a little pearl detail. I don't like, I'm not obsessed with the pearl detail at the top, but it's fine. It's really cute. Um, it just like is subtle on the ear. I just love the large hoop style. So yeah, those two are currently living in the back there because it's good to have some large earrings to dress up any outfit, any look. That's everything now that is in this bag. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to see from me in future down below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. Um, I'm in a hurry because I'm running for Chi now, so I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Toodles.